Welcome to this short video showing how to complete and upload your track data. Having made your purchase from us, you'll need to enter the information that relates to your track and product release. To do this, you need to click on the link provided in the email we sent you to upload your track data. In this example, we will use one track single. Upon reaching the screen that relates to your release, you'll notice there are a number of boxes with red borders on the right hand side. These boxes are mandatory boxes and cannot be left blank. We will now run through a sample upload of track data. To do this, we start by entering the release serial number that you received in your email. We now move on to product title. This is the title of the album, EP or single that you are releasing. In this case, we will call it My Product. The artist box is the name of the artist releasing, in this case, My Band. All of the online download stores require a barcode or UPC code before they will accept a product for sale. If you have one for your product, enter it here. If not, leave it blank and we will apply one for you free of charge. The catalogue number box is for your reference, where you may have your own cataloguing system. If you don't operate this kind of system, simply leave this blank. The publishing year box is the year the product or the track was originally released. In this case, where we are completing product info, the year should relate to the product itself, rather than to the individual tracks. If this product as an EP album or single has been released before, state the year that it was originally issued. The publishing holder box is the name of the company or person who holds the publishing rights. If you're self-publishing, simply enter self-publishing. The copyright year is the year the track was composed. The copyright holder is the name of the person or company who holds the copyright to the tracks. Next we move on to product genre. This addresses the entire product rather than the individual tracks. If you click on the box you will see that there are a number of genres to choose from. You should choose the genre that most closely relates to your product type. In this case we'll choose dance. You then have the option of entering a subgenre. As this box does not have a red border next to it, this is entirely optional. Please make sure that you do select a second genre even if it is the same as the first one you chose. Finally, enter another subgenre or leave this section blank. The next box relates to any explicit content that might be included in your release. The options are yes if it contains explicit content, no if it doesn't, or cleaned up if it's a version that has been made for general public consumption such as the radio. In this case we'll click no. Having completed the product information and genre, we now move on to completing the track data itself. Start by entering your track title and the artist of your individual track. Next, we move on to the ISRC code. You may already be in a position to assign these yourself. If not, however, leave this blank and we will assign one for you free of charge. We then move on to the publishing year, publishing holder, copyright year and the copyright holder for this individual track. The difference between this section and the previous section is that this track may have appeared in an earlier release or product, in which case the dates would differ to those stated previously. Even if they are the same, you will still need to complete them again. We now select the genre related to this track in particular. Although we selected dance and electronica before, this track itself might meet slightly different genres. Here we can select different genres if necessary, otherwise simply pick the same again. In this example we are going to choose R&B. For the second genre we will choose the same thing. Again, you are asked if your track contains any explicit content. As we previously stated, no, we will choose the same again. Next you should enter the name of the producers of the track engineers, composers and lyricists. Finally, you need to upload the artwork for your track. Click on the browse button and navigate to the artwork files that you want to upload. As
As indicated in the track data key, the artwork specification should be 1000 by 1000 pixels at 300 dpi. Finally, click send data. At the top of the screen is an acknowledgement confirming that the data has been sent. This data has now been emailed to us and we should